And welcome back to the anime news of the week, ending September 22nd, 2017. Yes, I'm sorry, Ronald is still away. He won't tell me where he is, he won't tell me what's happened. Um, I just keep hearing things about South America, and I just, I don't, I don't know. But let's get on with the anime news, starting with story, a uh, story about the Blade Runner anime short directed by Shinichiro Watanabe of Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo fame. It has been announced this week that that Blade Runner short film will premiere exclusively on Crunchyroll. So uh, that's kind of an interesting thing. I should say exclusively, exclusively on Crunchyroll outside of Asia. So they have their own thing, but everywhere else in the world get to Crunchyroll to see that thing. I'm betting they're going to have quite a few hits on that one. So, kind of interesting. Uh, moving along now. Um, whoops, moving, I said moving along now. Sorry. Still dealing with all this stuff. Uh, some more news on the upcoming, whoops, wrong image there. Wow, things are, are wrong. Uh, new card capture Sakura anime is on its way. The legendary Magical Girl series is getting a new story starting January 7th. So that's really only a little more than three months away. We'll be getting more card capture Sakura in the clear card arc, which has been going on in the manga for a little while. So that's what's going on there. Um, uh, also, some interesting little news about Little Witch Academia. This is definitely in rumor territory, but the URL for the uh, the Little Witch Academia series now redirects to a URL that contains the word first. Actually, one ST, so it's not really a word, but you get it. So, uh, the assumption is that this is only the first Little Witch Academia anime series, and uh, we can only hope. Uh, this could just be trigger kind of hoping for more who knows but uh it would be nice to see more little witch academia maybe we'll have to uh, to uh, keep an eye out and find out um moving on to a project that's been in the the, the uh, works for a long time um the live action akira project got some news this week that taiki whitey i'm sorry taiki watiti i i'm sorry i completely messed that one up um uh taiki watiti yes uh taiki Waititi, Wow, Taika White. Sorry, that's that's completely wrong. Anyway, um, he's in talks to direct the upcoming live-action Akira film, which no, nobody had really talked about for a while. Uh, Waititi is the director of Thor Ragnarok, by the way, which is why this is kind of remarkable for people. Uh, the film is still planned to be set in New Manhattan instead of New York, uh, instead of uh, New Tokyo, uh, basically so they don't have to cast all you know. Japanese actors and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we will see where that goes. What's also interesting is that we now know the plan is to actually adapt in, uh, I believe it's going to be uh, two different films. They're going to try to adapt the entire Akira manga, all six volumes. To give you an idea, the original Akira film only adapted roughly the first of the six volumes. So volume uh, movie one will adapt the first three volumes and then movie two, the last three. Good luck. Uh, but we'll see where that goes. So yeah, they've definitely... They bit off a lot uh, for, for that. And um, good luck to them. Uh, and I, I honestly mean that. Who knows? But there is a movement on my back to Nakira. Um, also some interesting crowdfunding uh, movement on a sequel to Pretty Sammy, which was a spinoff of the Tenji Moyo franchise. Massively popular franchise from the 90s. Um, this is kind of interesting because they're resurrecting a spin-off of a fa franchise through crowdfunding. Uh, moreover, the Pretty Sammy sort of sub part of that has had several different uh, series, OVA, TV series, etc. And uh, but this one pushes the age of the titular magical girl Sasami up to 14 years old. She's never been that old in any of the anime adaptations. Um, so it's kind of an unusual twist, and also unusual to have a 14-year-old magical girl. And uh, we're just going to have to see where all that goes. There's going, to, there's going to be a new character being introduced, hopefully. But for our purposes, what's also remarkable is that they're looking to do this through crowdfunding. 
So AIC, a well-established anime studio who's been doing all the Tenchi stuff, uh, they're, re they're reaching out to a crowdfunding platform to fund a roughly five-minute, uh, essentially, promo video. Uh, if they can get that crowdfunded, they can then show that to investors and get the money to make an actual anime series out of this. So this is kind of where people have been pushing for crowdfunding to go, where it's so hard to get new interesting works done um, and to kind of pitch, um, let's just say, investors who don't want to get too crazy with their investments um, on kind of unusual things. You go to crowdfunding first, fund your, your initial material, and then use that to you know get people excited uh, who have actually you know the millions of dollars needed to fund these things. So here's hoping that works out and we get to see more stuff you know funded that way. I think it's kind of a cool way of doing it. Um, finally, and this is an unusual thing, um, but and because I normally don't report on things like this, but given tonight, I will. Um, there's an announcement in uh, um, a, ma a manga magazine this week. Which manga magazine did that come out in? Uh, Young Animal, that's right. Um, th there's big news coming for Futari Echi, also known as Futari H, which is a hentai manga that has been running for, oh, gosh, um, 25 years now, something like that. Um, and it is by the artist, uh, the, the mangaka, who created a little series called Vision of Escaflone, as well as Psychic Academy. Uh, he also does this manga called Futari Echi, which was released over here as Manga Sutra. Um, to give you an idea of why this is remarkable, besides the Escaflone connection, is that this manga has 26 million copies in print. It is one of the more successful manga of all time, and certainly the most successful you know, hentai manga of all time. Um, for those not familiar, and that I'm going to keep this very work safe, but basically it focuses on um, a newlywed couple who are, let's just say, very inhibited in bed. And they pledge to themselves that they're going to uh, explore each other's sexuality um, fully. That basically they're going to commit uh, themselves to really figuring themselves out uh, in that sort of uh, side of their lives. Um, instead of just kind of waiting until maybe someday kind of figure everything out, they're going to really spend some time on it. So it is, in a sense, a a, um, a manga for a, a an instruction manual for newlyweds, uh, or for you know uh, not necessarily new, newlyweds but couples um, about different aspects of these things. So hugely popular, and there's going to be more stuff. Presumably, that kind of stuff means another anime adaptation. Uh, there's already been one OVA. Uh, as well as a live-action adaptation, uh, interestingly enough. So, yeah, that stuff is out there, and there will be more of it um, probably coming. So, FYI. Anyway, that's all the news fit to print this week. Hope you find this enjoyable. Until next time, please watch more interesting anime.